suing for $7,500. Jolie Santiago says the plaintiff signed a photo release giving her the rights to sell his pictures anywhere. All rise, you may stand in come to order. Your Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. I'll first this morning, Your Honor. Thank you, Devin Thomas. Ray Marvin, I understand, sir, you are suing Jody Santiago yes, for $7,500 over a claim of defamation of character. Yes, sir. Right. That's correct. All right, how did this uh, situation come about, sir? Tell me story. Pretty much, I'm suing this individual over here for defamation of character $7,500 because she put my picture in a magazine for a gay sex month. Okay. All right. So, how did the two of you even meet, Mr. Santiago? How did you meet Mr. Martin? Well, in my line of work, I meet a lot of models and actors through networking, go, going to parties. And yeah, what do you do? I'm a photographer. You're a photographer. All right. And you've been a photographer for how long? Uh, approximately six years. And how long did you know Mr. Martin? Uh, only about six, seven months now. All right. And how did the two of you meet? We met at one of those networking parties. All right. And so, at the party, what was the conversation? We had a discussion about, you know, taking photos. I told her that she could take some headshots for me. How long have you been about? I'm not for a year now. So you're up and coming. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm up and coming. Yes. Okay. And then so we, I discussed my headshots with her. You know, we found out it's a great mis trade work, print work. You know, that's normally what happens when you trade for her portfolio for my portfolio. And so what was the understanding with respect to you modeling? That you would be able to use those pictures that she could use to yes, get most her portfolio. Yes, and and to promote me as well to try to sell me to get my name established in the modeling world. All right. And we made an agreement on that. And that was the agreement? The agreement was that I would own all of the negatives and the prints. Um, I would give him prints to put in his portfolio. I did not need any of his prints for my portfolio. However, um, I did agree that I would try to sell his, uh, his photos to different magazine publishers, book publishers, and ad agencies. Right, so if you're doing this for six years, why are you engaging in all this? Well, this is, this is sort of how I make my living by freelance photography. And I agreed to do him a favor if he would sign the model release form, which I have right here, which states that all of the photos that I took of him are my property and I can do with what I will. And in exchange, I would try to sell them to get him some exposure. Mr. Martin, did you sign that agreement? I did. Let me see it. So the whole thing is, Your Honor, it's not even about, the, it's about my character. My character is what's at stake here. If you look at the picture, why is your character? Because right now, my life is ruined. And all because this individual right here, you spoke my life. Oh, I have one picture that appeared in the gay magazine? Because it's in a prestigious magazine, Your Honor. I have this, 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 this magazine is seen all across the world by everybody, and my photo is the headline of the pit of this sex line, Your Honor. Hey guys, looking for love, and we have this picture. Let's take a look. It's not, it's not a laughing matter at all. It's not a laughing matter at all. Coming up on America's Court with Judge Ross. You don't want to sign anything with you or the person that's saying whatever. You have to make sure you read and go, you know what, we need to insert a line here that I cannot appear in the box. Well, captioning is provided by. It's America's Court with Judge Ross. <laughs> There may be people in the audience or people watching that says, well, what if I want to do this? I want to do this. for selling his picture to a gay magazine without his permission. <laughs> if you sign a legal document, sir, you are contractually bound to it. So here's the teachable moment here, because there may be people in the audience or people watching. Well, what if I want to do this? I want to be an actor. I want to be a performer. I want to be a model. You have to sign what they call limited releases. Because, if anything, you don't want to sign anything that says in perpetuity, because that means they have it forever, which is not here, so there's no time frame here, so that's a little vague. 
And you don't want to sign anything with the where the person says that they can do whatever. You have to make sure you read it and go, you know what, we need to insert a line here that I cannot appear in the following. And then you list that. Does that make sense? Is, okay. Now, see, unfortunately for you, sir, you needed to have this lesson revealed to you now so you don't find yourself in this situation anymore. But based on your testimony and the Santiago testimony and the evidence we see, the gavel is going to come down in favor of the defendant in this case. And, sir, your claim for $7,500 is dismissed. That is your lesson. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is... Come on, man! ...watching America's court with Judge Ross. They get the end credits. Watch where I step back and watch what we'll keep our work with for now.